Hey guys, I'm Greg. Welcome to Greg's Beer Reviews today. Let's go see what's in the fridge today, guys. Hey, welcome everybody. Thanks for stopping by Greg's Beer Reviews today. Today's beer comes from Trillium Brewing. These guys are top notch, world class. Everything they do is outstanding, guys. I uh, don't think I've had a bad beer from these guys ever. Of course, I can't get them here. Uh, Greg sent me this one. I've had several other ones, Rico and some others, that sent me uh, Trillium beers before, and they are awesome. People are clamoring, willing to trade, and like I said, these beers are distributed at the brewery. You go in, and sometimes you can get in without standing in line. A lot of times you got to stand in line to get them. Everything is sold there, and that's usually sells out the day that they release it. Most of the time, I guess, is what I'm hearing anyway. So, uh, this is their Double Dry Hopped Melcher Street. Uh, and like I said, these guys, Trillium, are out of Boston, Massachusetts. Uh, commercial description, this is a 7.2 percenter, the double dry hopped. I think their regular version is 7.3. Uh, but this one is the 7.2. IBUs on this is not available. Doesn't have it on a can, doesn't have it on right beer, doesn't have it on untapped. So that part is a secret, I guess. Uh, commercial description here says our double dry hop version of Melcher Street, this amped up American IPA features a heavenly dose of mosaic hops. Wonderful hop. The spicy, resinous, herbal aroma bursts with nuances of tart citrus, tangerine, clementine, and subtle green onion. Bold flavors under the ripe melon, cantaloupe, rind, and pineapple are highlighted with gentle bitterness and delicate biscuity malt character. Uh, the malt they use is American Two Row, Barley, White, Wheat, C15, Dextrine, and Dextrose. Hops are Mosaic and Columbus for this beer. So, that is all we're going to talk about. He did send a letter here. He did tell me that it was ranking on 169 on Beer Advocate's 250 list as of February 19th. A classic trillion American IPA. Uh, and it does not surprise me that it's that high. I'm actually surprised it's not higher than that, guys. Uh, these guys, whoever the head brewer there, definitely knows what the hell he or she is doing. Uh, their beers, like I said, people are clamoring, want to trade anything to get their hands on their beers. So I feel damn lucky that I have subscribers like Greg and Rico and some others that, that uh, either stand in line or make the venture to the brewery because that's the only place you can get them unless you're, somebody sends you some. So... Uh, that's all we need to talk about. Uh, I will look on the bottom before I pop it open, and it has January 23rd of 17, and today is the 3rd of uh, March, so January, February 23rd, so we're looking at about five weeks or so on this beer. Cuisine for this is curried in the Thai, the cheeses of peppery, Monterey, pepper jack, sharp blue cheddar, your stronger cheeses. Gorgonzola and Limburger. Looks like orange juice coming out, guys. Uh, meats, poultry, fish, shellfish, and salmon. And I will add grilled meat to that. Glass bar to pint back and I tumble mug, science Adele. I'm using my favorite tulip glass, the Sauvin beer glass. And not recommended for extended salaries, guys. Drink these beers fresh and you can get your hands on them. Nice finger of head on that pour. Looks just like orange juice in the glass. Definitely looks like a juice bomb. Over into the light. Nah. Not much at all. Okay, might get a little light in the thin part of the glass, but pretty cloudy. Definitely not filtered beer, guys. Let's get the nose to it. Outstanding, outstanding aroma. Like it, like the description says, guys. It's very citrusy. Maybe some orange peel in there. Hence of grapefruit, mango. 
maybe a little bit of pineapple in there. It's got all the typical juice bomb aromas. And that's very wonderful, guys. It really, really does. And uh, as far as the onion, I'm not, I'm glad. I don't think I want a lot of onion aroma in my beer. And I'm not getting it on the nose. Of course, that may change once everyone warms up to room temperature. So, first beer of the day, let's dive in. Cheers, everybody. Cheers, Greg. Very, very tasty. And guys, I am getting a slight hint of some onion in there. And it's not bad, to be honest about it. But I am getting a little bit of onion in the taste. That's very delicious. It's outstanding, as a matter of fact. Seems to work at this. Citrusy and more grapefruit. A little bit of grapefruit twang or tinge or tart. Very pleasant. Very, very, very pleasant. Anytime I see these beers show up from uh, uh, from Trillium or, or Treehouse and some of the others that are producing these juice bombs, I know, well, this is probably going to be pretty damn tasty. And uh, this one is. So... Uh, well, let's try it out of the fridge, let's let it warm up, and let her have a sip two or three, and we'll come back and see where she ends up. Pretty tasty right now. Alright guys, I'm back. Just a little bit left here. The, uh, the beer is awesome, guys. It's outstanding. Date on the bottom of the can, ABVs on the front. We don't have the IBUs, but that's not super critical. I would like to see it on an IPA or a double IPA, but uh, a lot of times we don't get that information. Uh, so, it is what it is. Uh, find it, uh, it's getting less and less published uh, a lot of times, so uh, would like to see it, but we have no control over that. And evidently it's not posted anywhere since uh, none of the three sites have got, got, it, uh, got it listed anywhere. So, but this is an awesome beer. It's very awesome lacing, uh, citrusy, grapefruit. I am getting hints of onion in there. Uh, very unusual. I didn't think that would work well, but it does. Yeah. It's not overpowering. It's not like somebody dropped an onion in it, but there is some onion nuances to the beer. So, and it works. It works. It's, it's, uh, it's very delicious. Final choke. The onion gives it a little bit more dimension to it, so uh, like I said, it's not off-putting and it's not overpowering or anything, but it's there. You, you, you notice it there. Works well. Uh, unbelievably, I wouldn't, uh, I wouldn't think it would, but it does. It, it works well with this beer. Anyway, it's outstanding, guys. It's world class. It's uh, definitely a beer I would pick up if it was here. And no doubt about it, I would buy this religiously. And if I was up there, I would buy it religiously. Uh, I would have a reserved parking place because they would see me so often to buy their beers if I was in the Boston area. So uh, it's a 10 beer for me, guys. It's absolutely uh, outstanding. World class. Uh, over to Beer Advocate. Beer Advocate says 98. World class. No doubt. And over to uh, Rate Beer. Rate Beer. 100 overall, 100 in the style. That's where I'm putting it to. It's absolutely a 100 beer. And finally, we'll run over to Untapped, and Untapped has it at 4.49. Not seen numbers very much better than that. May have seen a 4.56 or 4.57 is the uh, the best numbers I've seen from this, those guys over there. So, pretty impressive numbers. Definitely a, an, uh, an A beer, A plus beer. Uh, far as I'm concerned. So if you've had this one from uh, Trillium Brewing, this is their double dry hopped Melcher Street. Very delicious. 
Thanks again, Greg. I do appreciate the wonderful beers that you uh, that you sent me. Uh, all of them have been pretty damn tasty. Uh, I think all of them have been eight beers, too. Uh, it's hard to go wrong with Trillium or Treehouse. So, uh, lucky guy to be able to go in and, uh, and, and buy the beers from those two breweries. Uh, they produce some outstanding stuff. All right, guys, if you've had this from uh, from Trillium, let me know what you think. The Double Dry Hop Melter Street, very damn tasty. If you're a hop head, you'll love this. Come on back tomorrow. Let's take something out of the fridge. See you then.